I'm Betsy Sokolowski, and this is my sister. I'm Emily Sokolowski. And we are Basecamp Print Company. <laughs> <laughs> from Charleston, West Virginia, born and raised, and that's where we own our business now. For us, the biggest influence just been like our parents. They were very supportive of us. It also influenced our love of West Virginia. That inspired us to look to West Virginia for creative inspiration. I never heard of Letterpress until Emily had gotten pretty deep into it, so it all started with her. My graphic design professor at WBU, he gave a presentation about the Gramley collection, which is a collection of wood engravings. And after that presentation, I like went up to him and I was like, oh, let me work with these. Like, how can I work with these? Like, I need to see this for myself. And so he set up an independent study with me the next semester and he taught me how to print. I graduated from WVU with a degree in advertising and yeah, my first thought was I need to go to a bigger city. So I moved to outside of DC and within a year I was burnt out. Yeah, again, yeah, that's how Betsy, like that's all, that's what my friends were doing. That's what I thought I needed to do. I didn't know or think that there were like jobs here in West Virginia where I could be a designer. Um, and have like the opportunity to grow and kind of challenge myself. So after I moved back home um, from Nashville and knew about Kinship and knew they did screen printing and so I just emailed them one night and they like immediately emailed me back and um, were like, yeah, just like come on down to the shop, like we want to, we'll talk to you. Like, you know, I was just asking if I could come like shadow or if they had like an internship or something. And I go down there and they, the same day, like offered me the job, gave me the keys <laughs> to the shop. The whole time I was working there, they pretty much did everything they could to like help me see that like I could start my own business. Um, they even helped me find a press. The building that they lease has this little storefront attached to it. And um, they offered me the space to start my own business rent free for three years. And so I was like, yeah, <laughs> like, sure. The Christmas season was starting. She needed some help. And so I just started helping her out around the shop. And then she taught me how to print. And I used some of my knowledge of advertising and we just work really well together. And so in less than a year, we were 50-50 partners. We both design, we both print, we both do the social media, we both package up online orders. It's just all hands on deck. Yeah. Very collaborative too. Yeah, definitely. Like we try really hard to just like make each other laugh and like keep things really light. And I remember when I was just doing it by myself, like internalizing everything and you know, kind of getting in my head about certain things or getting down about certain things. I think just having a collaborator, you know, you say everything out loud, you just get it off your chest, you bounce ideas off each other. Especially since we're sisters, we know each other so well um, that I can say anything to her and she will be honest with me. The presses that we use are, we have one press that's about 100 years old and one press that's about 60 or 70 years old. Um, and we use those to print everything. Also, our shop is full of wood and metal type, either hand carved or made with a router or a mold. Our prints in our retail shop, we have definitely focused more on West Virginia nature. We just think it's underappreciated. Um, it's definitely not the first thing people want to talk about when they talk about West Virginia or bring it up. Like some of our more regular partnerships, like with Mountain Stage, those are some good people. And they that is one of our most fun collaborations too, because they give us a lot of creative freedom. Yeah, I think our, one of our biggest missions as a shop is to just like spread as much like positivity as we can about this state, because that's how we feel about it. I wish people would kind of look past the stereotypical things you hear about West Virginia. I think that 
some people kind of view us as dumb and helpless. And, you know, that's not who we are. We're, we're resilient. For me, I think the biggest thing that I learned in finding like my own path is finding those people that already are on their path. <laughs> Look for those people that seem like they know where they're going and just talk to them. Whatever you're thinking about trying, do it and post it and get excited about it and hopefully other people will take notice. People just, you know, need to know that it's possible and then more people will take that risk and stand up and be like, I can do that too. <laughs> it's really important.